Eccoci. Hello. Hi James, come stai? Molto bene, te? Tutto bene, tutto bene. So I have your, um, I have the 20 wow. here. Thank you. That's with Coravan. So guys, tell me a little bit about um, 2020. After 19, which was a really excellent year for, for Bulgari, and obviously 20 was warmer uh, than 19. Tell us a little bit about the growing season in 2020 in um, Bulgari than on the coast of Tuscany. It started off a cool, fresh vintage. Uh, 2020, uh, especially in the spring, um, we had some um, very cold days around uh, March and April, and then it was really cool and fresh. They, until, uh, the second half of August got a lot more in the end of the growing season. That's why we had a, a slightly faster harvesting. And uh, we have to remember also that it was the, the year of um, the first lockdowns, very uh, intensive ones in Italy from March 2020 until June. So um, the moments when during the spring we had to work in the vineyards to contain the vegetation, for example, um, we had to employ a lot of workforce. So it was um, challenging to get people to come and work, but it, it worked out fine because, you know, agriculture could always in the, in the agricultural uh, sector, we could always continue working and we have a very good uh, team of people and everybody was very committed. So in spite of the fact that uh, there was a lockdown and that people were getting COVID, we, we managed to have our, our team together. And the same then uh, during, at the end of harvesting, during vinification, we had another lockdown towards the month of October. So. We had one of two challenges to overcome across the year, but um, the vintage was otherwise generally good. How was the summer though? Was it um, hot and dry? Did you get any moisture? What happened? It was a very, not easy, easy year, the 2020. Uh, very cold, a very long uh, winter, and uh, the spring arrived late. And, uh, but the very hot temperature happened in the, from only in July, only in July, because uh, until the, the, the mid-June, the temperature was uh, where, sorry, where less, uh, very, very cold, very cold. And uh, I remember the very hot climate, uh, we happened only in, uh, in July and uh, in the early, the early day of uh, August. Oh, uh, after in uh, in the on 10 August uh, we had a very um, two days of rain and the temperature uh, went to, uh, went uh, down and uh, the, 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 the 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 situation changed but uh, retu returned the the returned uh -huh. the, the hot temperature to toward the end of August uh, at the moment. Uh, before little days before the, the harvest and uh, was very very important for us to anticipate the, the, the harvest around seven or eight days but the big problem we had was to do the, the need to, 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 to make in, in the fast way the harvest in order to protect the quality of the grapes, uh, and uh, also it uh, was very important to to uh, to to make a decision uh, which grapes uh, uh, we could uh, uh, manage in the best way for the vinification operation. I mean, uh, and uh, we uh, we prefer it in order not to create any problem uh, in the cellar to save the, the grapes, uh, to manage a uh, um, few days of the maturation uh, for the grapes that coming from the not very important vineyards and uh, to be uh, able uh, instead to make a long maturation and um, we decide to, to select 
the grapes because it was very very important to be fast in the during the harvest that is the very big problem so the pressure the pressure was you had to be fast because you were worried about being locked down it wasn't the quality is that the point Exactly, not 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 for the the, the COVID problem, the restriction, uh -huh. but uh, for the hot temperature, because the uh, quality of the grapes, uh, uh, the quality of the grapes was wonderful, but uh, it was necessary to to pick up immediately the grapes. Right, I understand. Not because you were worried about um, about high temperatures, very dry weather, and you were worrying about about the grapes drawing, about, you know, getting yeah. shrivels and exactly. you know, dehydration, dehydration. Yeah. yeah. So when, when did you start picking? Ah, we started in the, in the, in the early days of September. Honestly, uh -huh. we started in the, in the, toward the end of August with the young vineyards, uh -huh. uh, in order also to, to, to have, uh, uh, some uh, most uh, with height acidity that uh, uh, that were very very useful helpful to have in a very good balance of the acidity with the the, the, the latest uh, uh, grape harvest. Is that the earliest harvest you had? Exactly. Uh, yeah. Normally, we we start with the, the we started the harvest with the young vineyards. Yeah. And uh, it's very necessary. It's necessary. It's very important for us to to um, to to have uh, the first masses of the the, the the wine coming from the young vineyard yeah. that uh, have normally the very high uh, acidity of the wine. And for us, it's very important to have to, to be able to use uh, a little part of these masses. To level to better balance uh, the acidity of the other, yeah. the other wine. Yeah. That's really interesting. Did you, for example, what were the picking dates in 2019? Uh, in 2019, the, the situation was totally different because. Exactly. Uh, cool. Yes, yeah, exactly, exactly. And also, it was possible to manage the harvest uh, in the in the during the very and in, in, in the part of the day during yeah. the the good temperature and not to to postpone late uh, uh, the harvest uh, as it was necessary to do in uh, in uh, in 2020 but in 2020 it was necessary to pick up uh, to call, to to make the harvest very fast totally different in 2019 uh, where the grapes uh, uh, in uh, in the plant uh, had uh, had an, an no problem to maintain the grapes on the in the plant. Yeah. So and so, tell me, um, in twenty, how hot was the temperature during the harvest then in late August and early September? In twenty twenty, you mean? Yeah. Well, in, uh, yeah, yeah. Really big game to you. Yeah. Oh yeah. The temperature during the day. During the day. The, we started the harvest in the very early morning with uh -huh. the light, you know, with the light uh, uh, at the six o'clock in the morning uh -huh. with the uh, temperature around uh, 18, uh, uh, 17 degrees. Uh, uh -huh. But uh, of course, uh, in, uh, at, during, at 10, around 10 o'clock in the morning, temperature was around 28, 27. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, Sorry. Um, and what was it around three o'clock? That's the worst time in Tuscany. Exactly. But we are very lucky because uh, in the latest year, we realized a uh, new, um, new structure uh, yeah. in Ella where it's possible to maintain uh, the, um, I would say, the, 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 the and we can uh, reduce the temperature strongly. Oh, and, you can uh, cool the cassette down. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. And so when you made the wine, so you made a selection and then as far as um, the, uh, 
winemaking. Did you have, did you uh, ferment at lower temperatures, less extraction? What? Yeah. Because uh, it- normally, you know, that uh, we, we never want to, to change anything uh, uh, in the, the technical of uh, the, yeah. in the, yes, in the cellar. But of course, uh, we wanted to manage the 2020 in a different way by using more uh, new uh, wood, especially for the aging of the wine. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, I mean French wood, especially coming from Taranso and Sigemoro. Uh, it was necessary to use. Uh, normally, we use uh, uh, we use uh, around uh, thirty-five percent of new uh, new uh, wood. In in twenty twenty, we use it around forty-five percent of the new uh, wood. So, in the end, how do you see? like 20 fitting in with other recent vintages like 18 19 15 16 where do, where do you put it I, in my opinion my opinion 2020 is was, uh, quite similar to the 18 uh-huh. because it's very fresh very drinkable wine um, is uh, i think that the, the good uh, style of sassicaia wine but yeah. uh, uh, also, I, I, I found many, many similar uh, char- characteristics of the 2016 because it's very elegant, very long. Uh, when I smell the wine, it remembers me uh, 18 and 16 also. We, we all thought it uh, reminded us of uh, rather cooler vintages, like Carlo exactly said, uh, most recently. It's weird, though. But it is yeah. sort of weird because it was the opposite. But you guys are very clever in um, your picking, you know? Yeah, and picking that's, I was really thinking that's really um, a smart way of doing it, picking part of the, the younger vineyards earlier so you have a nice, fresh acidity, and then you pick mm-hmm. the other part or just at, at normal levels. Well, listen, thank you so much for the um, sending the sample. Um, complimenti per questo vino, veramente bello. You know, my compliments really beautifully made wine considering the harvest. And um, we'll see you this summer. Ci vediamo questo estate. Oh, I really hope, I really hope, my friend. No, 100%. <laughs> benissimo, benissimo. Dai. Okay, dammi saluti a Nicolo anche. Sicuramente. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay, abbracci. Bye. Ciao, Grazie mille. Grazie. 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 Grazie